All right, so today we're gonna get a little dirty. Today we're gonna go ahead and get this motor out of the 535 XI single turbo. So yeah, today is just pretty much pull this motor out. It should be the last few steps of it. I've been recording this for like a good while, like most of 2022. So as I said, I just had been limited time to go ahead and pull it. So I got the chains already set up. So the only thing left to do is take off the engine mounts uh, on both sides. So once the engine mounts are off, then we could go ahead and put the hoist here and go over there, bring it over here, put it on the hoist and take the last two bolts out of the transmission and pop it right out. So hopefully everything should be, yeah, disconnected. So got it popped open. Lo and behold, got the trunk open finally. I couldn't open it. And then down here, I got some water. Yeah, if you look a bit, you could kind of see it. I'm gonna have to take the battery out. The boy's saying it might be the battery leaking. I don't know, because if you look behind the tail light, right here, you can see like Ooh, some water. Go. Oh, it's here? Maybe it could be that crack. Just letting water get through and then going down. Yeah, I can see that. And then it comes in right here in the back. Look behind the light. Oh, yeah. So it might just be coming through the light. Oh, oh shit. Never even thought about that. This side. Yeah, it's pretty much good on this side. It's just that side. Yeah, I don't see no other drip marks or anything. How about back here? Oh, wait. That's way too? I don't know. It looks a different kind of, oh, that's a shame. Oh. <laughs> it looked darker up top, that's all I mean. Okay, I'm gonna open this up since the hurricane thing, you know? Oh shit, so you think that shit could have been sitting here the whole time? There's probably nothing for it to leak out through, so it's probably just not sitting there. Damn. All right, so I got the battery out. And yeah, that's quite a bit of water. What I was worried about was over here getting like rusted out. So I'm guessing this is from the hurricane. This is like, we can see where it was leaking in from. So, I'm gonna have this thing dried up. It's all nice and dry. My boy went ahead and um, fixed the lock mechanism right here. So now we'll be able to close it with the uh, key because before it wasn't opening with the key. So what happened was I had to go ahead and take this off right here, take these two pieces off. And the bracket was outside of the screw. So I had to go refit that back in, tighten it back up. And then now the key works. So it's leaving the trunk open for now so that it could uh, air out. And I'm not gonna try to go inside and manually put it in neutral. So you could back it up. So you're able to go ahead and put the lift right there. Pull these parts out and you got the whole assembly over to the side. And then you push your phone on the brake and lift this up. Okay, you can see how it is right here. And you're good to go. So there you go, moved it up a bit. And all oh, my oil is leaking. That's why I didn't really want to start it. So I got a bunch of room. Yo, T came back to that. Yo, oh, Lord. So the 535 XI motor successfully pulled out of the car. Props to my boy Mikey Raw for helping me out with that. Oh man, really appreciate that. I have a plethora of other parts and stuff I gotta order and things to bring in and 
decisions to make on this whole project. Main thing, gotta go ahead and redo the AC lines and reroute some stuff and see what we could go ahead and clean up an engine bay for this single turbo. So the way it was sitting before it worked perfectly, but just because the motor blows, might as well go inside and just make sure, tip out things, reroute things better so that it's be like successful, reliable car or as reliable as the N64 is gonna get. For my 335i, it still has some electrical issues. I gotta go pick up another battery for it, throw it in there and um, pretty much start probing and seeing and seeing what's popping on it. Maybe I'm thinking like a fuse or something sparked out and see what else is the damage. So there was like water issues in the DME area and there was water issues all the way in the trunk where the battery was. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to continue following the progress and everything, just subscribe, like, comment, subscribe and all that. And I'll see y'all in the next video.